Hi, this is Elon with my Mousetrap card project. And so first, we had to figure out the energy stored in the Mousetrap by, us by using the, the torsion wheel, which we set at different angles. And so like 180, we got 5.233. And we put it on a line fit curve in uh, Logger Pro. And that's the line that we got. This is a position time graph that we got from tracking the card's movement from start to finish using Tracker which we use to find the displacement which is 4.1 meters and that is basically how far the car went in total time. For mass we know that 9.8 newtons equals 1 kilogram and our total force equals to 5.233 newtons and so you divide our total force by 10 newtons per kilogram and so we get 5.233 newtons divided by 10 newtons per kilogram equals 0.5233 kilograms and our maximum velocity equals 0.622 meters per second and so for kinetic energy we plug that into the equation ek equals one half mv squared and so it equals to one half 0.5233 kilograms times 0 0.622 squared and that equals to 0 0.101 kilojoules and again displacement equals to 4.1 meters this is a graph of the velocity that shows the car speeding up and slowing down. The lines are the slopes of the velocities of the car, which are the two different accelerations. The car's positive acceleration from when the car is at its greatest speed is 0 0.06875 meters per second squared. The car's negative acceleration from when it is increasing to zero is negative 0 0.08406 meters per second squared. Now for the force diagram, weight and normal cancel out, so we're left with for speeding is our mass of 0.5233 kilograms and a 5.233 newton string pulling to the right and some friction going to the left and for slowing down we have the 0.5233 kilogram of mass and just friction and there is no force because the tension from the string is gone and for the total force we know that E equals MA and so for speeding up we did energy equals to 0.5233 kilograms which is our mass times 0 0.06875 meters per second squared which equals to 0 0.036 newtons and for slowing down we have the same mass of 0.5233 kilograms times negative 0.08406 meters per second squared which equals to negative 0.044 newtons for the energy flow diagram the car begins at rest with its velocity equal to zero and all of its energy is in the e elastic with six blocks and it has zero for e kinetic because it's not moving and none for e gravitational either because it's not going up or down you can take away one free disc because the car loses energy because of friction and in the second diagram it is at its highest velocity and no longer has any e elastic anymore since it is unraveled and the energy has now been converted into kinetic energy with five blocks it still does not have any e gravitational because it doesn't move up or down in the picture at the bottom the car has reached its maximum velocity so all of its energy has now been converted into kinetic energy which is five and then energy dissipates due to friction, so it loses 5, and then it reaches 0 for all energy since the car has stopped moving due to the loss of all its energy. Now to show the data and motion of my car, I use vPython. And as you can see from 0 to 5, you see that the car accelerates. And then from 5 to 12, you can see that it decelerates. And now I'm going to run the module to actually show it. Here it is. As you can see, it accelerates right here. And then it decelerates right about now. And then it stops, and from what we found out, the displacement is 4.1 meters, and that's the distance that vPython showed, and so that's my project. Thank you.